Tesla's new patent hints at ultra tough, cheaper electric vehicles. In other words, Tesla has a new aluminum alloys patent which hints at ultra tough electric vehicles that are cheaper to produce. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and stay with us. It is widely known that Tesla constantly innovates from the software of its cars to the chemistry on the batteries that power them. And we're looking forward to hear more about the new batteries. And if a newly published patent application is any indication, says Tesla, it appears that Tesla's innovation actually goes all the way down to the metals used to build its cars by using aluminum alloys that were developed by the company. For example, Tesla may be able to usher in a new breed of electric cars that are incredibly tough while being cheaper to produce. The patent which talks uh, about which talks about Tesla Radis today's article, and I will have the link in the description of this video. The patent titled Die Cast Aluminum Alloys for Structural Components describes an aluminum alloy that is both extremely tough and dusty, the dusty tile. The aluminum alloy would not require further processing as well, allowing the company to improve its production costs. In the patent's description, Tesla notes that commercial cast aluminum alloys such as those used for electric vehicle chassis need to be both strong and docile. Aluminum alloy components are typically um, formed by casting, and you know about Tesla's casting machines. If produced well, casted parts could be produced quickly and reliably, and they should maintain their structural pro uh, properties well. Alloys that cannot be casted well, however, result in hot tearing, which causes issues with cars and with the material. Now, Tesla emphasizes that numerous structural components made of aluminum alloys today may require processes like heat treating, which improves strength, hardness, docility, and corrosion resistance. These processes ensure quality but they also require large capital expenditures, extended processing times, and potential yield losses. With this in mind, Tesla noted that it would be preferable to produce aluminum alloys with high yield strengths and sufficient docility while requiring no heat treatment. Tesla describes some of its ideas in the following section. Here is a little quote from Tesla's new patent that can enable Tesla to make cheaper cars and cheaper, yeah, cheaper cars in the future. Here's a quote. In one embodiment, the alloy comprises a yield strength of at least about 130 MPa and a bend angle of at least about 2% uh, to 30 mm section thickness with S cast and without further processing. In one embodiment, the aluminum alloys comprise vanadium to provide many of these enhancements. In another embodiment, the aluminum alloy has a specific weight ratio of copper to magnesium to provide many of these enhancements of an alloy with the desired features. In one embodiment, the aluminum alloy has a weight ratio of CUMG of about 4 to 1 to about 1 to 1. In one embodiment, the aluminum alloy has weight ratio of CUMG of about 4 to 1. As you can see, friends, this is getting a little complicated, but maybe I don't, don't need to burden you with all this information. So as mentioned below, Aluminum alloys with these compositions were found to have high yield strength and high docility compared to available aluminum alloys. As mentioned here, um, the weight percent is uh, of the total elements and practices within the alloy, as well as specific properties of the alloy, it will be understood that the remaining composition of any alloy described here, herein, is aluminum and incidental impurities. What this means, I don't know. 
because uh, I'm not a metal perf uh, uh, metal expert, but I just want to present it to you so you know that there is a new pattern that will enable to build cheaper car. If Tesla could effectively introduce novel aluminum alloys for its vehicles, the company would likely be able to improve its production costs and its products overall quality. Stronger aluminum alloy parts may pave the way for vehicles that are safer than ever before, while the lack of heat treatment could ensure that Tesla's operating costs are optimized further. The aluminum alloy parts may also contribute to higher production outputs, especially if they are fully compatible within the company's mega cast strength uh, strategies. Now, let me know your thoughts about this aluminum new patent by Tesla about new cars that it will build. I just want to let you know that as I reported earlier today, Elon Musk just announced that Tesla AI artificial AI day will take place on Thursday, August 19, 2021. This is an exciting time for Tesla and Tesla is seeking top talent in the world to join its AI team. That is the premier reason for Tesla to announce the AI team, but I have some other expectations. Elon Musk has announced Tesla AI Day and that the primary reason for the AI Day will be to convince top tier AI talent to join Tesla. Now, what to expect from AI Day? I think we can expect the following on AI Day and then I have some nice surprises that would be cool to see on the AI Day about which I reported in my earlier reporting. Please check that out. Jeremy Johnson from Tesla Torque News team says, uh, full self-driving is one of them. Tesla's biggest push into the field of artificial intelligence is creating a car that can drive itself without human intervention. Right now, Tesla is at level two system. A level four system is what is required for autonomous driving and level five will likely mean that the steering wheel is removed from the car and no intervention is ever required. I think in this case, a uh, driver's license will be removed as well, right? If no intervention is required and there is no steering wheel, then why people bother getting a driver's license? For what purpose? So I expect Tesla to talk about where its full self-driving is now and where they see it going in the future. One of the things that I'm sure they will mention is Dojo, you know, the battery. Dojo is Tesla's uh, up and coming project for a mega supercomputer that will provide video training for Tesla's neural net. The name Dojo comes from Japanese for a place of immersive meditation learning, immersive meditation learning and training like a karate dojo. Jeremy Johnson from uh, Torque News Tesla reporting him says, I want to hear about how Dojo will run and any updates on the amount of data that it will process. Will it still just be 10 second video clips? Will it train weekly? What kinds of videos will be given to Dojo? Will these videos be human edited first? How long will it be until Dojo comes online? We don't have the answers yet and we hope that we get these answers on Tesla AI Day. Dojo is the main thing that will get Tesla to level 5 full self-driving. This is why it's very important that Tesla updates us on Dojo. It is how it will handle all the odd cases in the world. Another thing is Tesla's neural nets. Tesla neural network is how it is able to create a real-time rendering of the environment around the car uh, using eight cameras. Cameras, the neural net needs to have the ability to detect objects, road markings, pedestrians and other cars in the near vicinity and at a distance. The neural network will get trained by Dojo, which I just mentioned, the supercomputer, to be smarter and smarter and to recognize more and more things. For instance, Poles are not well recognized by Tesla vehicles right now. And the same goes for animals. This will improve in the future, hopefully with Dojo training the neural network. Now, what do you think we should hear from Tesla AI Day? And what do you think about this new patent about aluminum alloys uh, making cheaper, extra thin uh, Tesla vehicles? Uh, I want to hear about AI Day, what additional objects are going to be recognized, friends, what the blue car means on the Tesla FSD screen, if there will be further distance viewing, then what it shows now and how fast is the things the neural net can be trained. Uh, what do you think? Do you think neural net can be trained daily, weekly or monthly?
uh, maybe weekly updates would be great, uh, but hopefully daily. But that's a lot of data, a lot, a lot of data. So vision system improvements during AI day, I would like to expect to hear any additional improvements that will be made to the vision system. Will there be more powerful cameras on the Cybertruck? What about the new Model Y vehicles produced in Austin, Texas and Giga Berlin factory? Will old cars be able to upgrade their cameras as better hardware comes out? What happens with old cars and their hardwares? If you think Tesla should provide certain updates on this, please let me know in the comment section. And if you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel. We have lots of great Tesla news. So I'm also interested in hearing about what advancements will be made to enhance vision to superhuman levels. Will, um, will we see infrared or night vision added to the cameras or will they stay completely vision oriented as is? And another thing I would like to see during the Tesla AI days, as I reported in my previous report, safety features. A while ago, Jeremy Johnson from Torque News Tesla reporting team wrote that um, about Tesla having a secret weapon and that was its safety features. These safety features will prevent a Tesla from unintentional accelerating into people, walls and ditches, as well as proactively predicting uh, when to move away from a moving vehicle. So we're looking forward on the Tesla AI day to updates on these safety features and any additional features that will come as Tesla trains each neural net. So let me know, friends, what your thoughts are about Tesla's new patent that may be enable Tesla to build extra cheap and thin um, vehicles and also what you expect from Tesla AI Day. This is Armin Haryan. Please subscribe to our channel for daily reports from Tesla, the Torque News team. And God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. And if you found this report helpful, please give us thumbs up, like this video, and I'll see you soon in our next report. Peace be with all of you.